I'm George Mitchell, Technical Director of Automation Systems. I'm Fabio Barini, I'm a Lead Automation Engineer in Automation Systems, also a manager of this project. Automation Systems is a Spanish company that uh, combines cutting edge technology and hardware to meet specific challenges across industries. Really what our speciality is, is providing tailored solutions in the areas of application development, networking and, and control systems. We serve industries such as energy, uh, infrastructures, transportation, telecommunications, pharmaceuticals and, and, and many others. Uh, so Zender Group is committed to disease prevention and health in the health of the planet. Zendler's core values revolve around care, health and disease prevention in humans and in animals, including zoonotic diseases. Over the past 30 years, Zendel has grown, expanded and diversified its business because of its ability to meet the challenges of the ever-changing healthcare sector. With a team of specialists, Zendel focuses on scientific and manufacturing excellence in developing and commercializing vaccines, biologics, pharmaceuticals and probiotics. Zendel had signed an agreement with Novavax, the American biotech company, and CEPI, the Worldwide Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness and Innovations, to manufacture their protein-based COVID-19 vaccine for distribution across Europe. Zendel plant would need to be completed by the time that Novavax obtained the final FDA approval. Zendel partnered Optimation due to our experience of delivering in other pharmaceutical projects. We had the ability to supply the complete hardware and integrated software solution in the limited time frame. We were in the middle of a worldwide pandemic and Spain was in complete lockdown. So we needed to design, supply and remotely commission a system that we couldn't actually go to. Ignition allowed us to do absolutely everything online. The first stage of the project was to create a system that met Zendel's needs for monitoring and regulatory requirements of unmanned cryogenic and ultra deep freezers in which the raw COVID bacteria was being stored. The data collection was important. Uh, we needed a centralized data repository for information. We needed to collect information from a lot of devices in a lot of areas and a lot of auxiliary services. And the system not only had to provide uh, regulatory compliance, for FDA approval, but also we needed to demonstrate that Zendel was meeting its obligations with regards to its customers. And that is a lot of documentation that uh, needed to be produced by the system and a lot of compliance that we needed to get into the system. The system also had to provide new control, new monitoring functions, and it needed to seamlessly connect to the, the existing equipment that were in the, these, these plants that was not actually fully automated. We needed a system that, uh, that gave operators full systems of the operation and the ability to, to manage production beyond just the initial control. So Zendel faced a major challenge because the freezer and cooler rooms used to store finished products were spread throughout the plant and were mostly unmanned, even during operation hours. For safety and compliance, staff had to be assigned to regularly inspect these installations, record data and address any equipment failures. As Zendel introduced new products and regulatory requirements evolved, specialized equipment such as autoclaves, incubators, particle counters and skid units with their own data storage mechanisms. This led to a complex landscape of different data formats, device connections and communication protocols, resulting in fragmented silos of information that were difficult to navigate. In addition, with increased production demands, manual operations such as connecting skid units or cleaning process needed to be automated to increase efficiency. Optimation Zindel also had to resolve the, the network distribution problems they had to redesign the IT network and the OT network in able to get the most out of ignition. And we used a hub and spoke architecture with locally placed gateway nodes in every production area. And that meant that we could collect the, the information locally in each, each plant and then get it up to uh, what was the data centers where we were running ignition on their virtual servers. We were using Opto 22 hardware and we were running uh, ignition edge directly in that hardware. Combining that with the store and forward mechanisms uh, that allows us to get the historical data stored locally and then we can get it up to the main servers but if there's any problems on the communications network that whole ignition architecture is handling that and then when we re-establish connections that's when the system automatically pumps that information up if you lose the data in a pharmaceutical facility you can't sell the product it's as simple as that the system maximizes the io and programming capabilities of the groove epic controllers and exploited their full potential. Each Groove app controller served as an independent node in the gateway network, 
enabling it to perform key functions such as data acquisition, process control, operator interface, and, and data synchronization, all in a self-contained unit that operated independently on the network and other areas. And also, the system has to serve different users, views that depict the process, and you can check each element of the process that you have to control using uh, the customer standards for colors and, and, and shapes and representation. So that's classic batch fermenter uh, production there. Yeah? And that is part of the uh, what is known in the industry as a fill and finish production facility. The operator needs to be able to see everything, every single valve position. He needs to know every single data point. He needs pull-up screens to show what operation he's running. He needs to be able to interact with that operation, even abort it if necessary. We used vision module mission to create all the classical views of the SCADA system. This is one of the first screens we worked with because we started the project with the code storage areas. So we started creating this uh, overview so they can check the storage temperatures, set set points for alarms, and they can add some extra information on those screens to say this is a critical product, not a critical product. So the project evolved into a control to control the process as well and combine that with the ability to create trends so they can check the past of the process. Uh, we go into a sterilization mode, uh, very important in the pharma, pharma industry. You have to make sure that everything's sterilized. There's special algorithms in there to be able to calculate that that vessel has been completely sterilized. Uh, yeah, we've uh, got the ability to, to show him again what's happening in a condensed form. We can see every single phase of the uh, production. We also put a lot of screens in that allowed us to show how the system was working. Um, this is not really a screen for operators. This is a screen for more the IT guys. What we're doing is showing the CPU usage of every, uh, every processor on the network. Uh, we're showing the amount of memory it's using. We're showing how much disk is used. And really, it's a, a nice overview on a, a dashboard. Should anything happen to any Groove Epic, then we have alarming. So it's not just supervision, but we're also controlling the elements. And we have uh, the water tank and the loop to deliver the water for injectables to the different production areas. So the maintenance crew can check the status of the water, check the use of water in different areas. And we have our full control of the sterilization of the loop. We also have the sanitization of the loop. Yeah, we built a lovely queuing system into that where everybody wanted the water at the same time and had to get in a queue. Priorities as whether you were more important than another area or not. So on the other hand, plant managers and quality departments, they need to have an overview of what's going on in the plant. So we combined uh, classical views using vision module to the perspective module to create those uh, overviews so they can check every equipment in different areas. They can create their own graphics using the trend component. I will also add a layer of customization so the user can create their trends. They can save a specific pen configuration in a trend and then get back that trends or share that trend configuration with other users. I think the two main things of Ignition that really show up in this project is Firstly, the scalability. We started from something very small, and we had to know that this same software would be good enough for two, three, five times the size of this, this, this the system. The second thing is the edge structure gives you something that not a lot of people figure out. Every time you add an edge, you're adding more processing power, and you're actually releasing the power from the server, and you're adding more CPUs. Yeah, I think we have a customer that is really impressed that we keep growing the system. Nobody knew how this thing was going to grow. Literally, when we started, it was uh, 17 uh, cryogenerator freezer units, which had some two or three measurement points. Today, I think we're somewhere around about 188,000 atomic tags, that's uh, tags within the system. There's something like 28, 29,000 OPC tags floating around. 200, 250 screens, 10,000 alarms, and you know, it's still growing. There's, there's no sign of it slowing down.